All right, I had the camera zoomed in on four of my Western Electric e-signaling units. These function similar to the FXO FXS. However, these are two wire uh, terminating circuits. They have the hybrids built into the circuit card. I have four incoming trunks from CNET that are SF. I don't know which one I'm going to hit because they're in a rotation. So I would just manage to pump a whole lot of calls through them and you can see the relays operate. Each of the three relays that's vertical is one single circuit. So here we of course got four. There's usually ten on a single shelf. I would generate two or three calls rapidly and you'll see different uh, e-signaling units out pulsing to the step-by-step -step first selector. Those four trunks are wired to individual selectors, which are called incoming fourth selectors in my office. They are the same exact identical switch as my special access selector. Uh, it's just simply how I'm utilizing it and wiring the bank. I will show a quick back view of the spatial access selector and then a quick view of the wire bank on a normal selector shelf. I know it's very dark back here but that is the back of the spatial access selector. I've wired out a 24 pair cable to it and then it goes off to a block since I only have one single path for this circuit I only made the uh, bank one path out to the mainframe. Here is the installer side of the cable that is connected to the spatial access selector. On the reverse side, which would be the right side of the block, is where the cross connects of the levels go to other switches within the building or trunks, or I have it strapped out to busy. The wire wrap block on the left is the bank block, which is wired to, uh, of course, the bank, where the selectors, um, the wipers cut into the bank whenever a valid digit is dialed that goes to another switch. The terminal block that's over on the right is a block where cables are wired to other places within the switching system. This is on the first selector, and this is one of six shelves. So all six shelves are tied to each other on the levels, with the exception of the uh, fourth selectors. They would only have ten going from this particular switch frame to the next switch frame. The operator is, of course, level zero. The level one is to a camera trunk for an A and ID system. 
In the future, I do plan on having an ANID trunk wired to the spatial access selector so per people can make uh, CNET calls out of my system. I don't know when that will happen yet, but sometime in the future. Here is the back of the <clears throat> bank block where the selectors have access to it.